everybody. It's Donna with Donna Deals and DIYs, and I don't have much of a background. I apologize that for that today. I am in my bedroom, and I have just uh, been home from work for a little while. Kind of tired, but I wanted to go ahead and get this recorded so that I could get it edited and out to you by tomorrow. Um, I did not find a lot at the Dollar Tree this week to show you, and did do some um, crafting on Saturday with my friend Dina, but um, one of the things I made was a gift that I needed to mail to somebody this week that was having a birthday, and I don't want to show it, but it took some time because it was painting and staining, and so I um, won't be able to show you that, but I do have one of my DIYs to show you. I have another one that I was sort of working on, and I had one that I had to fix. <laughs> <laughs> that I needed to try to sell. So something, a little flower fell off of it. So I had to glue it back on. But anyway, and then we went to see Uncharted, which was a great movie. So uh, we had a good Saturday and we will be crafting again this next Saturday. And I hopefully will have some more stuff for you. And then I also have to do a collab at the end of March for my fourth Friday. And so I will be working on those uh, crafts as well. Anyway, if you're new to my channel and you just now subscribed, I want to say thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate it. And if you haven't yet, I would appreciate it if you would consider hitting that thumbs up button and commenting below and subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. Okay, so let me get started to show you what little stuff I did find. Okay. So the first thing that I found were these really great lights for your yard. They're from the Garden Selection Collection. They're solar stake lights. And um, we have the ones I think I told you already last in my last haul that were the um, snowman from um, Christmas. And it's still cold here in Texas, so we've been doing the snowman. But um, we really liked those. They're still working well. Um, but I wanted to get the butterfly ones. I haven't taken the tabs out of them yet. This one has a red butterfly in it, and I purchased seven, because that's about how much we need for our front lawn. I got blue, and I got yellow. So I have two blue, two red, and three yellow. They also have green. I did not pick up green because I'm not a big fan of green, uh, but that's how many we uh, got for our front yard. And once I get them out, and uh, when the springtime comes, I will put them up and show you all, uh, which will probably be in a couple weeks, uh, what they look like. Okay, so that was my first purchase. That was on my wish list. was very excited to get it. And I know my mom will also enjoy it because um, she really likes those that we have out in front. I'm trying to get everything else out of this bag here. Okay, so I picked up uh, a repeat purchase. It is the um, Shadow Resistant Screen Guard. Uh, this one is for the iPhone XR and 11. And I have an iPhone 11, which I'm recording this video on. It's tempered glass and it fits iPhone XR and 11. I have one of these on my phone now, but I wanted to pick up an extra one um, when I saw it so that when, if anything happens to the one I have, it cracks or breaks, I'll have an extra one. So I like to pick these up and have extras on hand because for $1.25, that's a good deal for tempered glass. And it definitely keeps my phone from getting cracked, the actual screen on my phone, because I do drop it, unfortunately, more than I should. And um, it has always really, really helped to have one of these on my phone. I do have a good case as well. All right. I picked up a couple of drinks at the Dollar Tree because you all know that I really like to pick up uh, low calorie or no calorie uh, drinks at the Dollar Tree when I find them uh, for $1.25, which sometimes is a good deal and sometimes not. Obviously, you want I would want a bigger one for $1.25, but um, these are good. I picked up Tija T. -tija, T T-E-J-A-V-A, -A, Tijava, not sure how you say that, I guess y'all can tell me. Uh, I have a picture of it when it was full, which I'll overlay here. Um, this one is the unsweetened black tea. It has zero calories in this bottle and uh, zero sugar, zero carbs. 
um, zero sodium. So it was just the peach. They also had raspberry and I had not seen this brand at the Dollar Tree before. And so I went ahead and tried the peach. I did like it. I did add a little bit of trivia to it to give it a little bit of extra uh, sweetener. Um, but I liked it. It had a nice little peach flavor to it. So I didn't pick up the raspberry. Um, I just wanted to try the peach. So uh, this is something that I would purchase again if I saw it. I had, like I said, had never seen it at my Dollar Tree. It also says on here that it's Rainforest Alliance certified, non-GMO project certified as well, and BAP free bottle. Okay, then um, I think I showed you the Crystal Geyser last week in the... Um, Pineapple, I think it was. Pineapple or mango or guava. I don't remember, y'all. I think it was pineapple, I'm pretty sure. And then I told you that they had berry. Well, our local store had those two flavors plus this third flavor, which is the natural lemon flavor. So this is Crystal Geyser Sparkling Spring Water with carbonation, zero calories, zero carbs, 10 grams of sodium for the whole bottle, no juice. It is non-GMO. And... Um, I wanted to go ahead and try the uh, lemon flavored one out. So that's the lemon. The pineapple wasn't bad. Of course, it is sparkling water. It doesn't have any sugar in it, so it doesn't have a lot of sweet. It's not real sweet, but it did have a little bit of flavor. So I wanted to go ahead and pick that up and try it out as well. I will let you know I did like the pineapple. Then this is a repeat purchase. I purchased one. Hadn't showed it to you yet. Tried it, loved it. Tried the banana, loved it. So I purchased, I thought, another banana. I'm not seeing it. I think I already put the banana. Yes, I did because it was a repeat purchase. I purchased another one of these in the banana for my mom to go in her little Easter gift. And then this one is the maple. Um, it is Crazy Go Nuts, uh, delicious, the delicious superfood snack. And this is all natural gourmet walnuts. You get a 1.25 ounce package. And this is the maple flavored one. And they're California walnuts. They are made in California, no GMO, vegan. It says they're voted the most painful snack by maple, most painful snack by Maple Tree Magazine, which I'm not sure what that means. Um, but anyway, it does have 200 calories for the package, 16 grams of fat, a zero sodium, and eight grams of sugar and four grams of protein and six added sugars. Total carbs are 11. Um, so anyway, yeah, it's a little um, expensive on the calories and stuff, but uh, they tasted really good. So I wanted my mom to try them out. I got one of these in the maple and one in the banana. I like the banana best, but they were both really good. And uh, it was really cool to see some new snacks at the Dollar Tree. So I picked that up. Wanted to let y'all know that I liked the banana and that I had picked up the um, maple. Then I found some crafting items for my friend Dana and I. Uh, I have a lot of wish list items. We just haven't gotten a lot of the new, um, a lot of the other Easter stuff in yet, but hopefully we will this week so I can pick up some more because we need to finish our Easter stuff. And so I got these glass paint brushes. They're from Color Factory, make an impression. Um, glass paint brush marker and they're great great for glass ceramic porcelain um they came in several different colors it says they're water-based and this is what you can do ideas you can do on the back and this is what the package looks like on the front and it also has some other ideas right there and um this one is black i don't even think it tells you on here what the color is. It is Greenbrier. Um, but anyway, this one's black. So I got that one if we wanted to mark something on glass. Then I got the purple because purple is my favorite color and it's Dina's favorite color. And then I got the white. So, and I believe there was a pink, like a really hot pink color. And I don't remember, I don't remember seeing any other colors, but I know they had a hot pink, but I just picked up these three because I really thought that that was uh, something that we could use with our crafting. So, um, like I said, they're glass paint brushes. All right, next, they had some more new journals at the Dollar Tree. Um, I did not, there were four new ones that had uh, Christian uh, sayings on them, but I did not pick up all of them. I only picked up two. 
Uh, these are from Crown Jewels, the woman-owned company made in the USA by Greenbrier. This one says, you are important to God. And I love to give these as gifts. I think they're a really cool little gifts to give with some, a nice pen or, um, please tell me that's not upside down. <laughs> I picked up one that's upside down, y'all. I have to take it back. Uh, it says you're important to God, but it's upside down. So I'm going to have to take this one back to the Dollar Tree and exchange it for one that's not upside down. I'll put that aside. I just noticed that. Sorry. I need to look at these a little bit closer in the store before I get them. Um, this one says, I am worthy, kind, strong, important, brave, capable, and loved, which I like this one a whole lot. Um, it does not have writing that's upside down on the inside, but it does have this uh, little uh, print uh, leaf looking thing on both sides. And uh, these are from Crown Jewels once again. And like I said, there were two other ones, but I did not take those. Were four new ones altogether. I did not get the other two. I should have taken pictures of them so y'all can see what they look like. Um, but I'll be taking this one back to exchange it. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's a good thing I noticed it though. Um, then I picked this up as a gift. Uh, these are the um, tech cases from Greenbrier, and it has coffee cups on it. Is that cute with the little hearts with a coffee cup? So I got this for somebody who really likes coffee themed things. Um, if you zip it, unzip it, you can put your um, earbuds in here. Uh, you could put your uh, charger, if you have a charger, in here for your phone. Um, it has a little uh, pouch here. Um, or you can put your mask. If you're wearing a face mask and you want to store it in your purse uh, and something that's clean, you can put it inside here. Um, you could put a, a lot of different things in here, but it is just a tech case and I thought it was so cute. I had been looking for it uh, for the coffee theme on it and we finally got it at our Dollar Tree, so I picked it up. Okay, then I picked up one more thing from the Dollar Tree. This is a sensory orb sensory zipper fidget bracelet from the company ORB Orb, which is distributed by Fabric Orb Toys. And um, it just says www.orbtoys.com. And these are these little zipper um, sensory tools. I got these to share with some of the kids at school uh, that are fidgety. Um, and so uh, maybe if they're good and they do a good job of the reading, um, when I'm helping them, I can give that to them. Or I may just give it to the um, teacher. She has bingo and... Um, with them sometimes with reading and I might give them to her and she could give it as a prize. But um, I thought they were kind of cool and I wanted to show them to you because I had not seen them yet. Uh, they're called Sensory Zipper Fidget Bracelets and you get four different bracelets. There's purple, pink, and blue. Do you get four? Oh, sorry, there's just three. Three different, it says on there, three pieces. Yeah, three different, there's purple and there's pink and there's blue. And then they're all different colors, but I'm just saying the little uh, things on the end are those colors. I thought that was really cool. Would love to see how the kids like them. And that is it for my Dollar Tree haul. I did want to show you something I picked up at Walmart. My mom and I went in there yesterday. I noticed they're getting a dollar spot, kind of like the one that the Target has. I don't think it was called dollars, dollar, dollar spot, excuse me. It was called dollar something, though but I don't remember. I'm sorry. Um, I know y'all know, and you're probably going to tell me, right? But I did pick up something for a dollar that I thought was really cool. They're water bottle stickers, um, and they're 16 piece from every, every holder. Um, that's what the little package looks like, and they were a dollar, and you get 16 stickers on the inside, and I'm going to show you uh, what they look like. The main reason I got it was for this sticker right here that says Save the Ocean. Um, cause y'all know I'm a scuba diver and I like to dive and I like, well, I don't get to very much, but I love the ocean. So I like that one that had the whales on it that said save the ocean. So I'll be saving this one for me, but I will be sharing the rest of these with somebody or somebody's. This one just had a little, uh, pink camera. There's also another cute little floral camera. Uh, this one I will, will also keep. It has... Uh, plastic bag with whales in it. It's also kind of a save the ocean type message. 
uh, when this one has a planet with rings around it. This one's kind of nostalgic for me because I grew up with cassette tapes. It says sad songs. That's a cassette tape. This one is a shock. This one has a desert and a sun and a cactus. These are nice little stickers for a package for a dollar. Wonder with mountains. A, a donut that has a little bite out of it. This one I will keep for my mom because it's a sunflower. This one is so cute. It has a little corgi with his little back turned. <laughs> little corgi dog. Uh, this one has a... Uh, Astronaut listening to a CD on top of a space shuttle. This one's just a little diamond. Uh, this is another one I want to keep for my mom. It says good vibes with sunflowers. And this one says radiate positivity. So I will be sharing all of those except for the few that I decided to keep. Uh, so I knew that I probably wouldn't like them all. They say they're water bottle stickers, but you could put them on anything else, you anything you want to put them on. But they would be kind of cool to decorate your water bottle with. Then the one craft I wanted to show, show you for this week uh, that we did last weekend is I did decorate the brown bunny. This one is the one that I took care of for my mom or decorated for my mom because we had a little white one last year. I think I showed y'all already. Um, so I just took a bow and made a little bow tie for him right there. Uh, put a little, um, my other one that I made that's like it last year that we have also has a carrot underneath her arm. So I just made a little man, a little boy one to match him, match her. And then the little bunny tails that we bought uh, that were little uh, round uh, things at the Dollar Tree that came, I think, in a package 16. Uh, he fit, I just hot glued him back there. And he, I thought that looked great for his little tail. And then I hot glued it right here, his little arm right here, so his little carrot would stick. And then I just hot glued the little bow on there. So he was real easy to make and decorate. Mom liked him. And so I have a white one and two more brown ones that I'll also be decorating. And then Dina, I think I got two brown ones and she's already decorated one of her brown ones. So I'll be showing you all those, what we decide to do with those. She made a really cool dress for her brown one and, um, also did something a little bit different with the tail. And so when she gets finished with it, I do want to show you so y'all can see the really cool. And I think she picked it up off of somebody else on the YouTube, but she made a really innovative way. She made the dress for the bunny and it was so cute. Anyway, I um, am not at 500 subscribers yet, but I did want to go ahead and show what will be in my 500 subscriber giveaway. Um, I will be doing that this Friday. I will show you what will be in my 500 subscriber giveaway. And y'all know I will probably add some stuff between now and then. I always usually throw in some extra things. So stay tuned Friday. You'll see me show you what will be in the 500 subscriber giveaway. It will not be uh, an open giveaway yet. Um, because the giveaway will be whenever I reach 500. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I don't know if I told you, but I'm wearing a t-shirt that Linda Joseph gave me. I showed you the t-shirt in my last video. So I decided I would go ahead and wear it today. And I wanted Linda to see how great it fits me and how much I so much appreciated it still. So anyway, have a gorgeous, wonderful, um, fabulous, blessed week. And thank you for watching. And uh, if you will go ahead and leave me a comment below, I would appreciate it and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. And just wanted to say thank you. God bless you.